today's been one of those days. I've had just about everything wrong. I have the little girl here. Hi, hi, hi. I mean, how can your day really be going that bad when you have your dog at the gym? But we've had a super successful launch. Super crazy, we already have like 900 people super excited about doing athlete power, bikini tone. We have the swole and lean programs. I'm doing the swole program, so it was the big program. My goal is to go from, let's see what I weigh here. I've already had two meals today. I'm 216 with shoes on. So I bet this morning I was like 214. With all the stress of opening up a gym, um, I have definitely lost size and lost muscle. So I'm gonna say I probably, I probably am starting out at about two, 213 pounds. It's not good. My goal is to get back up to 225. So I'm doing the swole program. Be looking to gain a pound, pound a week, half pound to a pound a week. So today's max out day. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the app real quick. So based on my goals, we have our macros that it tells you to do. 230 grams protein. 445 grams carbs, 107 grams fat. Again, that's to gain weight for me. As a guy my size, we go off lean muscle. The workout for the day, like I said, we have a bench press day, bench press max. Yo, I'm trying to do a video. I'm trying to, uh, no. Uh. So we have our warm up. What do you, you just love being in front of the camera. So we have, Bench press max, chin up max, and then pretty much arms. And then tomorrow will be like more um, legs. So we'll have like a back squat max tomorrow. And then that being said also, we have mobility. For our mobility, you have an assessment and it's just a pass fail. If you can't do it, it's a fail. If you can, obviously it's a pass. Afterwards, it assesses your mobility and then gives you a program to follow. If you're failing a bunch of these things, it's gonna be a much slower pace program on the mobility side of things. Um, and then lastly, we also have our meal builder. So based on what your macros are, we give suggestions on what you can eat. So if you look there, breakfast, Greek yogurt, um, we have canned chicken, brown rice. So this is for somebody who really doesn't know how to count macros yet. If you guys are new to the macro game or if you just hate counting macros and want a meal that, it, that is given to you, our meal builder is, is that for you. It's super simple, um, you know, it's not gonna have like Chick-fil-A in there yet. It's just basic like cooked tilapia, potatoes, you know, green beans, things like that, super basic stuff. So um, we'll go over more like app features, but we're super happy with it. With it like anything, you go on a fitness culture, you pick your program, and then it gives you your login once you're all signed up for the app. But like anything, we're gonna get better with time. Um, but I think so far, people are really, really happy. That makes me happy, but it also makes life right now with customer service through the roof. Hence why this one is here because there's so much to be done and I can't leave her at home. coming to the gym and they hop right into their their sets their their reps and everything with our app each day we give you the warm-up so today we have the sighing lying rotations external rotator cuff off the knee single arm push-ups with slider ring rows and clapping push-ups and then we also have the video that shows you how to do each one
Fight it. Walk it out. Come on. That's all you do. You got it. Come on. Fight it. Fight it. Fight it. Nice. Oh, it's a grinder. It's a grinder. <laughs> 385, but it wasn't with pretty form. That weight for me as I'm on my back tends to go towards my face, and that's a no-no. So besides wanting to get stronger, I got to be able to bench correctly. That's going to be part of this whole process. So if I don't end up, what is that, 385? My goal, realistic goal, is to hit 425 in 12 weeks. I think it's realistic. All right, so for our weighted chin-up max, we think there's a lot people can do with different pull progressions to get their back stronger. Uh, biggest thing though, when we're doing a chin-up, especially a max chin-up, if there's any of this, any kipping, no dice. Dead hang, straight up, straight down. Legs shouldn't move at all, so. I'm gonna be trying to max out here with 110, and even if I get to the top, and let's say I'm right here, and do that, no rep. Has to be nice and smooth right here. Plus my body weight, which is about 213. So 323 pounds is my max pull up. I don't know, like, I'm not saying that's scientific. Like, obviously it's because of my body weight, which makes it a little bit different. But the reason we're doing that is because we're gonna build off of that and use percentages of our one rep max on pull up. Yep, we're actually gonna use that on any other, like we do with any other strength progression, we're gonna use that for chin ups, pull ups, things like that. Maxed out on bench for 385 and pull ups. 323 or 110 dumbbell. Um, so now we got dumb, we got arms pretty much. We're gonna fail in the six to eight range. Four count lower on everything, and we're supersetting. So we have one, two, and then we actually have a giant set three, and then no cardio because tomorrow <laughs> it's leg maxes tomorrow. So anyhow, that's that's it for today. We're gonna go go through these arms pretty quick. Um, again, first round three sets of six to eight reps. Four count lower. Second superset, three sets of eight, fail. In between there, four count lower. And then the giant set, we have four things, three sets of 15, just giant set fashion. Knock those out, no cardio. Probably, uh, eh, I got mobility though, mobility today. So probably should take only about 45, 40 minutes today. Okay, first set, superset, we have dumbbell hammer, hammer curls. I did a warm up set here. Biggest thing on our dumbbell hammer curls, that comes slightly across the chest. So right here, and I'm not swinging. We're not doing that, just straight up, squeeze, half second, down. We're gonna fail somewhere between that six to eight rep range. Everything nice, controlled, elbows to the side. All right, with our hammer strength, we got barbell skull crushers here. Pick a weight, again, six to eight failure. And I like keeping tension here and not relaxing. So a lot of people come straight up and then relax for a half second, keeping all the weight on their joints. By going here, always keeping the tension on the muscle there, down to the top of the head. So I just lean my neck slightly off. So my head's, instead of here, slightly off and I touch the crown of my, my head. Next up, good old fashioned barbell curls. We like to go heavy on here. Six to eight reps is where we're, we're staying. Make sure you're failing six to eight reps. We don't want sloppy reps, we want good reps. The minute you, your form breaks down, these aren't cheat curls. So the minute you start having to cheat like crazy to get them up, they're done. And also four seconds on the way down. I know four seconds goes really, really quick when you're in a hurry. Make sure you're nice and slow. Next up, with this straight after the barbell, we're into our, kind of our overhead rope extension on this. This is really our last thing we're doing heavy. So I want you to hit eight reps here to failure. Make sure on, on this, we're extending at the end of the movement, pressing out as far as we can. All right, 
we've hit our three sets on each. We've got our giant set now. Last thing down the home stretch. Arms are nice and pumped up right now. We're gonna finish them off. All right, this is what we have for our giant set. Dumbbell spider curls, straight into rope push downs, straight into reverse barbell curls, and then in, finish it off with tricep push downs. I might change up the tricep, the tricep push ups and do cable kickbacks. Um, that's a weakness for me. If you guys want to do that, substitute something that's a weakness, always feel free to do that. Again, we have next to each exercise, we have a video of exactly how to perform that. So three sets of 15 on each. It's a giant set, resting one minute after each, complete, after each completion of the giant set. We're gonna knock that out, and then we have a mobility routine tonight to make sure we're staying nice and limber. Nobody else does mobility stuff. Nobody else is capable of doing mobility stuff. It's the kind of team we have put together here. We got warm ups, it's a full, it's a full package. Warm up, a complete workout based on strength progression, hitting some hypertrophy, mobility. You're gonna feel great on this. Day one of the swole program in the books. Once I get finished with mobility, I should be in the books. That's it for the lifting though. Tomorrow, it's leg day. Max that on leg day, it's gonna be brutal. That's why there's no conditioning today. I'd be lying, I said that before. I'd be lying with this whole gym opening, stress, not working out right. I'm fairly happy with what I maxed out today. 385, the last time I maxed out it was 355 if I'm being honest. So 385 is not too bad. That was 355, it was of course after I injured my chest in England. But the SWOL program, it's an eight day split. So most people do a typical week split where we start over each week. I didn't want to do that with this and because you get, in a, you get complacent. You get used to, I guess, coming into the gym and Monday, chest day, Tuesday, this day. So on this eight day split, it's always changing what day of the week you're doing different things. So. Um, I have it to where we're hitting a major muscle group and then a smaller muscle group each day. I love training like this and I know you guys will too. So thank you guys for checking this out. We're gonna be sticking along, checking in weekly with weigh-ins, with how I'm looking. We'll get a quick shot of how I'm looking right now. I'm not proud of it. I'm white. This is the start, starting photo. Take a picture, click, height, weight, six foot one, 213 pounds. Uh, bench press, 385. Uh, max pull ups, or max chin ups, 323 pounds. And uh, we only can go up from here. I wanna get to 225. Keep the same body fat or maybe I'd like to even drop because I haven't been training, but we'll see how that goes. Day one in the books. I'm excited. That's not possible unless you're on steroids. That's what they keep saying. That's, that is what they keep saying. You know why? You know why it is possible? So I haven't been training hard. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Let's say 220. I'd be happy with if I start gaining too much weight. I'm gonna get a little bit soft, but I've done zero cardio. The most cardio I've done is when I film chasing Jake and workouts like we just did. That was the most cardio I've done in like a month. So we'll see how it goes. I haven't been this light in a long time. I just got a sick pump right now while I look halfway decent. If you guys are like me, you just pick yourself apart. So I always tell people, it's not about where you start, it's about where you finish. And even more important than that, it's about being excited along the way. Because guess what? Once I hit my goal with whatever that is, I'm gonna wanna set a new goal. I'm gonna be want to be, you know, up here. You're always up here. You set a goal, you get there. You set another goal. So if you're always doing that and you're never happy, I'll be happy when you're always gonna be unhappy. So be happy because you're in the gym working out, and this will be fun for a lifetime. Don't be content, but be happy. That's all I gotta say. I'm out.